Hello, welcome back to my channel. So before we get started with today's video, on Monday I posted a Minecraft video and I got a lot of positive feedback on it. So I just want to say thank you. If you guys haven't checked it out, I'm going to link it um, up here in the cards as well as in the description box. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I will probably do more because I'm enjoying playing Minecraft and I think you guys enjoyed watching me. But for today's video, there has been a trend going on where you only use makeup brands that start with your first name. Um, so I think Nikki Tutorials started it and then I've seen like Kathleen Lights do it as well. For me, my first name is Ashley. There are not that many makeup brands that start with the letter A. So unless you guys just wanted to see like a full face of Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think that would have been a little bit boring. So I thought I would just do my whole initials. So my full name is Ashley Michelle Weaver. So A-M-W. Um, so I'm only gonna use makeup brands that start with those letters, A, M, and W. I thought about just doing A and W, but it's still slightly difficult. Um, so I'm gonna kind of go through my makeup collection and just kind of do this along with you. I have like a little acrylic container here to put everything into, and then we'll go ahead and just apply it and see what we can come up with. I'm pretty sure it's still going to just be a makeup look, but it is kind of fun to maybe combine different products that I wouldn't normally use. So I have these two shelves where I keep all of my makeup, at least most of it. I have some palettes in that spare bedroom where I've filmed previously. Um, and if you guys don't know, Colin and I did move back in August. So we're now in our own house, yay. Um, so I haven't really made this like my perfect area to keep everything. You can see that these are really small. Ideally, I would get something that fit a little bit better. Um, but we're just working with what we got for now. So maybe that'll be an upcoming video where I organize this more and kind of go through stuff. But I do have everything labeled. Um, it just helps me to kind of keep track of where everything needs to go and everything. Um, but this is not about my makeup collection. So anyways, um, I'm just going to go through and I'm going to pick all of the things that I would uh, utilize. I'm going to try not to pick things that I use all the time. Um, but it might be kind of hard because I am restricted to brands that start with the letter A, M, or W. Um, so we'll kind of see what happens. Here is everything that we have. Okay, so it's actually the next day. Um, I started a look yesterday and it just was not working out for me. This look is crazy. So I stopped, I filmed something else. I'm not sure if I'll post it or not because it was kind of silly. Um, so we're just gonna kind of start new. I still have all of the makeup um, that I picked out yesterday. Setting sprays here as well. Um, so I'm just gonna start new like I haven't already started this video um, and we'll see kind of if it if it goes any better. The first thing that I'm gonna go in with is this Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, chamomile, and lavender. Mm. This stuff smells so good. I haven't used this in a while. I really missed it. I really missed it. <laughs> Anyways, so I don't have a primer. Um, I had a primer, but I used the rest of it yesterday. It was really old anyways, so it's probably better to just kind of move on. We'll just say that that setting spray is our primer. So the foundation that we're going to use is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation Dewy. 
and this is in the shade Soft Beige. So before we do foundation, I'm actually gonna go in with concealer, and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 10 Fair. So I like to apply my concealer first because I feel like I don't have to bring the foundation quite up as far. Um, so if I over apply my concealer, I can just kind of, you know, utilize that and then not use as much foundation. So I like to let the concealer sit just a little bit so it kind of dries down and then you get more coverage um, and you don't have to use quite as much. It doesn't work with all concealers because some concealers dry down super quick and then you don't have any time to blend it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and just blend it out now that I've let it sit for a few minutes. I like to make sure I really get in this inner corner too because I don't get a lot of under eye darkness. I mean, I have a little bit, but I have a lot of darkness right there in the corner of my eye. So we're already looking slightly more alive. So now I'm gonna take my foundation. This foundation is actually um, broken right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, I was going to take it back and then quarantine happened. And now I don't go inside of stores at all, really, except to go grocery shopping. And even that, I pretty much just pick stuff up. So um, I'm just going with it. Hasn't been an issue so far. Haven't cut myself. So you just can't shake it up too much. So I think you guys can tell it's a pretty dewy foundation, which I really like. It's also a little too dark for me, um, which I think you can also tell, because I can tell, just in the mirror. But I think once we apply some powder, it should be okay. So now I'm gonna go in with this Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. So you can see that I've hit pan on this, so I obviously enjoy it. So I'm just picking it up on the little tip of my sponge, and then I'm also going to kind of pat down here because I feel like you can really tell when a foundation is too dark if your chin to your neck or, or even like your chest are significantly different. So I'm just picking some up and I'm kind of tapping over that to try to help make it a little bit lighter down here and then maybe you won't be able to quite tell that the foundation is too deep. So that's just like a nice light powder. It didn't really take too much of the dewiness away so I'm good with that. Um, now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer and I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in Sunset Strip Tease. So I'm gonna take that on this Luxie brush. It's a tapered highlighting brush. I really just enjoy this one though for pretty much anything, except highlighting, because it seems a little big for that. And then I am gonna go down the neck. I'm actually gonna use a bigger brush. I have this big boy from Real Techniques. This is a powder brush. And I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna put a little bit of this bronzer on my chest so again, like the color and everything kind of meshes a little bit better. Now I feel like I look slightly um, sunburnt a little bit on my chest, which, you know, that's fine. Next, I know I'm kind of going in like a weird order, but next I wanna go in with brows and get these babies done. Um, this is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Deep Brown. So there's one brow done. Okay, so brows are done. Face is like 75% of the way done. I wanna go into eyes next. I'm gonna go into the MAC Soft Ochre Pro Longwear Paint Pot. And I just like to pick a little bit of this up on my sponge and then press it into the eyes. So for eyeshadow, um, I picked out this one. Hopefully it doesn't blind you too much. 
Um, but this is the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. So this is a really pretty, um, cool toned palette. And I personally really like cool tones. I think that there's just something about cool tones on like brown eyes that looks really pretty. I think I'm first gonna go into just this one right here. I think it's called Bear It All. And I'm gonna take that on my Morphe M441 and I'm just going to kind of apply it all over the lid. This is like a cream colored shadow will just kind of help everything to blend on top of it. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually go into the one below it, which is Tantation with the same brush, and I'm going to pick it up, tap off any excess, and then begin working this into the crease and a little bit above, just as our transition shade. So now I want to go in with this one, which is After Hours, and I'm just going to kind of press it on the outer part of the lid right here and kind of start creating the shape that we want. So now that I have that kind of applied where I want it, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to blend it and I'm going to take this other lavish brush, which is a tapered blending brush, and I'm gonna go back into that Tantation shade and just get a little bit on the brush to kind of help blend the edges. So now I wanna go in, I'm not done with the outer corner yet, I'll probably re-intensify, but I wanna go in with my shimmer shade and I'm going to use a flat brush like I always do and I'm going to go in with this um, come hither shade right here right in the middle this is really pretty it's like a taupey gunmetal gray color and I'm going to spray it too so I'm gonna go back into this corner shade, this after hours, and I'm going to re-intensify the outer corner. Let's just do the under eye part. So I'm gonna take this Luxie brush and I'm gonna go in with the Tantation shade and apply that under my eye. So I think that's all that I'm gonna do for that. I want to just kind of line the top of the lid a little bit. So I'm gonna take a flat, brush from Luxie and I'm gonna go into this black here it's called Naughty Night just a little bit to kind of define the eyes so next I'm gonna go in with mascara this is the Mile High Club volume and length mascara from Wander Beauty this is interesting because it is like a tube and then you pull it out and there's the mascara so I am going to go in with the Ardell Wispies. So while we wait for the lash glue to kind of dry a little bit, um, I think I want to apply my highlight. So I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omrizi highlight. So the lashes are definitely still drying. You can see some of the glue over here. So while they finish completely, I'm gonna go in with blush. Um, I love this Amamad palette. And I'm going to take Paraiso, which is this middle shade right here. And I'm gonna take that on this brush, which this brush is really loose, but I just, I don't know, it's just a fun brush. Now for lips, this was kind of hard. I didn't have very many lip products, um, so I have this Maybelline. Don't think that this goes with the look that we've created. So our last and only real option is this Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu High Shine Lipstick in 944B. So I don't have any lip liner or anything. I wonder if I can, let me try to define a little bit with this. I know that's crazy. This is actually a Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in 950 
un, untainted spice. So I know that was kind of like a, a weird thing to just do with it, but I feel like I needed something. And I'm going to apply some of my highlight to my inner corner. I'm also applying a little under, like near my eye bag just to kind of really open up the eyes. So the final step is to set the face. This is the look that I came up with for all of the makeup brands that start with my initial that I have. Um, if you guys would like to see another challenge like this or any other videos, please let me know in the comments down below. I'm really enjoying getting back into making videos and editing them and just challenging myself to do other things while I kind of have the time. So whatever you guys want to see, I'm most likely willing to make it. Again, thank you so much for all the great feedback on my Minecraft video. I will be doing another one that'll probably go up next week um, and I promise I actually have gotten better so that's something to look forward to. Make sure that you're subscribed, that you have your notifications on so you know exactly when I'm uploading and just thank you so much for everyone that's watching and I hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye!